Okay, this is Ace Kill and I'm Kiva. Ah, uh, now nah, fuck it. We don't need introductions. Okay, so while I'm still raging mad, let's talk about this uh, Fable already rated because sex is a okay. little weird. Okay, uh, apparently Fable got re-rated because sex is rewarding in the game. Isn't this game like years old, like Xbox One old? Like, not Xbox One, but like the first generation of Xbox old? Why is it being Yeah, 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 yeah. They're re-releasing it. Um, re -releasing in it. HD edition. Yeah, okay. So, but ad lit from the article. It's being re remastered in HD for 360 and it's going to be rated R18. I haven't seen that rating since San Andreas got re related. They're pretty much rating it like this because sex is a reward. Do they even show sex in the game? No. I don't, at least I don't think so. But As, to my knowledge, all they're doing is re releasing it, but it's in rewarding you for having sex. Yeah, since you're being rewarded with sex. Oh, it's and you have a baby. Yeah, yeah. Going on. Yeah, okay. So, so, <laughs> so nothing the game about the a, game has changed. The game gets a worse rating because you're conceiving children in the game. I, I guess so. Okay, so no. Um, so I didn't actually play it, but I do remember that when you apparently shack up with somebody, it goes to like a black screen, and the characters are like, "Whoa, that feels mighty nice," or some shit like that, and then it's implied that you had sex or. You know, I know in the later Fable game, you catch diseases and shit like that from not having sex with a condom, which is weird. Wrap that um, shit up, kids. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's the problem. Why are they doing this? I mean, it, if, it the make ratings, if the ratings are created to keep people below a certain age from playing them, then how come they didn't have a problem with this the last time around? Are we saying that people... 17 oh, okay this is all this crap okay so if people only over the age of 17 are supposed to buy and play this game are we saying that people over the age of 17 are so influenced by video games and entertainment that they immediately think that they should get rewarded with sex for everything they do i mean because there has to be some sort of political implication if they're saying there's always it, it, political bullshit with stories like this though if they're saying it needs to be rated higher because of that then there has to be some political implication so what are they trying to say but if that's true then why don't they like make it why don't they make the fucking ban like 50 shades of gray or some shit or well that's the problem though because they're not visual media because it's not something that's easy to attack like video games it's easy to sort of stigmatize it like that. So, you know, reading material is, you know, oh, you're reading a book, so whatever, it's not going to be a big deal. And it's kind of harder to push restrictions like that on, you know, text, like novels and stuff like that. Okay, but there are movies that are a lot worse than this. A lot worse. Uh, again, it's kind of the same issue. Um, I mean, but then again, there's a rating system, uh, there's a rating system put in place for movies too. Yeah, get into but you don't see any NR movies, do you? Right, right. I don't know. Um, well, the thing is, most people don't make them because most movie um, places won't carry them. So you're not gonna make you're not gonna make a return on the investment you put in making. Them. It's, it's the, the same. same it's the same, same thing with video games. Yeah, yeah. People don't want to make an eighteen only adult only game. Yeah, you can make them. That's why they had to cut shit off Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, you can make them, but the publishers won't sell them. Because yeah. the people won't put them in stores. So it's dumb to the even distributors have... Distributors, rather. Than... But... This is really dumb shit. Like, I don't understand why they would be doing this. Like I said, nothing about the game has changed. So it has to be some sort of change of heart, and it's a political issue. But they're trying to say something about the generation of people who play these games. That they will somehow, by playing this, think that they should get sex as a reward for their interactions with other there's, people. <laughs> there's somebody that says, uh, it's because children should be considered punishment for having sex. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. this, this, this kind of issue. And normally, most of the times, I'm sort of understanding towards people who have a dissenting attitude about uh, well, changes about societal issues in games, like, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we did leave out one thing. This is in Australia, though. 
This is Australia. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we left out some shit. Other countries. Because... <laughs> okay, it seems like... You... I want to say European, but that's not true. It's, it's not European. It's its own continent and country. So it's, its own continent and country. Well, don't ask someone to be. But I don't know. Australia tends to be pretty harsh on the video games. Now that I, now that I think about it, they make a lot of like I don't want to say reversals. Like they don't make many of them. But for the most part, they get a lot of heavy censorship on violent video games, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember when Manhunt 2 came out, it was heavily censored. It was banned in Australia, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was heavily censored here, but it was banned in Australia. Manhunt okay. was banned. Alright, alright, well, uh, okay, so I guess they're trying to be consistent about that, but even then... Okay, so it... They saw it the first time, they knew that sex was a reward, and they saw what would happen if you had sex with the characters in-game. Nothing yeah. they can actually show, it's not even visual, it's just, hmm, that feels mighty nice, and then it goes to the next screen, literally, it just goes yeah, black. Yeah, that, that's still a little weird that they're upping their rating just because you can have kids. Like, like I have to know what changed their mind, like, what, what makes them see this as substantially different. <laughs> if it's in HD, it's more graphic. Yeah, oh man, you can really see that penis going to that vagina, even though the screen's blacked out. The implication of that graphics, you can imagine that. There are things that implicate... F things implicate things all the fucking time. Television implicates cuss words to me every single day. Bitches on the news say the n-word all the time and it pisses me off. People say the F word, and it pisses me off. Or they, there, there's a show on TV called Your Bleeped Up Mind. Mm. They may as well put it on like HBO and say your fucked up mind. Because you're putting a word in your head, and the people say it anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about issues like that. Um, But, back to the topic at hand. I'm not sure there's really much else to say about it. I mean, it's dumb. I don't see what what's different between the two games that made them reverse their decision and just make it an 18 rated game. Like I said, you don't see anything. So what did you... <laughs> I don't get it. And what, trying, what kind of statement are they making about the generation of people who play this game? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe it's more of that shit where we need to be censored more and more and have the government tell us what to do. Fuck that shit. Anyways, this is the end of our video. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, guys. Have a good one. See you.